Hey, what up, guys? It's your boy Young, and I'm bringing you guys another episode of Guns of Boom. So, in this episode, I'm I'm gonna show you guys which are the best weapons, in my opinion, and how to earn uh, cash more frequently. Since the game has been updated, and the video I made was before the update came in with the easier quest. So, basically, the way you want to earn the more uh, the most money, which which I found out was the quickest way. Was just to finish my daily quest always and try to complete some of the main quests like upgrading any primary weapon 15 times because it's like some of the quests that well some of the main quests are pretty easy to do like the leveling up system right here so when I become level 22 I'll earn 80 gold and 30 cases and basically for those of you who don't know you can actually turn gold into gun bucks so basically 50 gets you 2400 so if you ever need any money it's just like and you have gold it's better to waste your gold on cash what uh the cash that i usually buy is this one for 250 because i always just save up all my gold until i get this much just because then i don't have to it's called so then i don't have to just keep on grinding because if i were to just waste all my gold on this i wouldn't be able to buy the guns i have such as the vampire and the hurricane okay so now my opinion on the best primary weapons is if you're not like paying on this game I would say the best ones like starting off for the primary would be the sting and the slicer like even though a lot of people have like higher up weapons such as like the destroyer and the mamba later on uh, these two are really good if you upgrade the sting uh, to the max I still see a lot of people using it even though I'm level 20 and they are too I see that it's really effective for me it's it, it was good when I was starting off the slicer really good uh, I was I was I was playing it I was playing with it a little bit because my friend had it and and we were playing a game and I picked up uh, his uh, slicer which he has a cool skin for it and I got a, lot, a good amount of kills until I ran out of ammo and then died. So for shotguns, the one I would say is the best like of all of these would be the death dealer because even though I only upgraded mine to level 1, which in my opinion was was pretty bad, which I should enough have had done if I would have known that shock that this shotgun would be like really overpowered. But basically that shotgun is one of the best I see it around more often than any weapon in this game and then, brawler really good if you're playing uh, capture the point because you can just run to the point really quickly and it's a shotgun so close range you can win now for the rifles for the rifles I really don't use like any type of rifle anymore like in the beginning I, I used the veteran for like a bit until I upgraded to the Undertaker but I don't see myself using the Undertaker now the Falcon the Falcon I see it used somewhat a lot with what's that mask called mask no wait should be in give me a sec should be in here head what's with the docks with the dark stalker head because this thing it does extra hits try damage and that combined with uh, I forget how much extra head damage this thing does. Oh no, it just increases it. So basically with this, you get headshots, you're instantly going to kill someone. And if it's maxed out, I, w I would say you could probably kill out a maxed out player with, like, with their jacket really high. I'm sorry about the notifications, I kind of forgot to turn uh, silence that. And then, I was using I was using uh, the lizard during this one game because I'm... There's this pay to win guy. I'm, I'm just saying that because he had the destroyer and the lizard and I forget what that the Armageddon I believe it's called for the machine guns, but lizard really good because not only do you uh, Gradually restore health every time you hit but also when you hit someone you also regenerate so it's like double regeneration kind of in a way Now to the machine guns machine guns. I see use kind of a lot hands No, I've I never saw anyone play with hands like Maybe like in my first videos, there was like one or two people. Buffalo, some, not really frequently, but sometimes you can see that one person using a maxed out buffalo and it's pretty good. Don't get me wrong. Anubis, this one, it's it's good if you want armor, but it's like, it's not really that helpful unless your jacket's like really high of a level. Hurricane, when I bought this weapon, it, 
I only bought it as a replacement for the vampire because the vampire costs so much cash to buy. So I decided since I, since I was a high enough player to buy myself the hurricane because I wanted a weapon with regeneration. So basically, the accuracy on this it's really bad in the beginning, but when, once you start hitting a target, uh, the sight gets smaller and smaller, so you'll start hitting it more frequently. Mine's level two, which it's pretty good. It does. Even though a vampire level 1 does more damage than a hurricane, but it's like, if you don't have enough money to buy yourself a vampire, then I would I would suggest you buy a hurricane. Now, Armageddon. Pay to win? Yeah. Pretty much. I... Which one is it? Was it Pain? Yeah, Pain. I saw someone using this, and not only does it slow you down, but it burns you at the same time as you can see with the Surgeons, I believe. No, wait. Never mind. I'm not sure what it was then. I guess I'm incorrect. Pistols. I mean, I don't see much people using pistols besides like the jackal and this, the anthem. Knives. I really don't see the differences in knives that much unless like you were to get some high ass leveled knife. But I mean, most of the knives cost, well, I mean, this one costs gold. This thing, the Sudoku, costs as much as the vampire, so it's like. What do you really need? A vampire or a knife? I don't understand why some people buy the claw. Because it's like, I would just save up that money to buy myself another pistol. Because I don't see myself using knives much. Okay, so now on to equipment. So in the equipment, I would say get yourself the fumigator. Because every time you're going to, every time you get a kill, you're going to get 25% of your health back. And then jacket, jacket really good. You should upgrade it quite a bit, unlike myself, which I only have at level 3. I got myself the jockey legs. I don't remember when. It cost gold, I believe. And this thing, every time I get a kill, I get 25% armor back. I mean, that'd be good if my, my armor was higher, but I mean... You know, beggars can't be choosers. So basically, that's the best weaponry I would say you guys should get. Because if, like, you're not paying on this game and you're just free playing, or free to play, basically, I would say that the best weapons are the Sting and the Slicer for Assault Rifles, Death Dealer for pretty much any, any level. Rifles, it's basically your guys' opinion on what, if you use rifles or not, but I would say it'd either be the Falcon with the Dark Stalker helmet, Machine guns, I mean, Hurricane, if, if you could get it, uh, Armageddon, if if you can save up that much gold. Or the, what's it called, this one, the Fortu Fortuna, I don't, uh, Fortuna, I don't know, I don't know how to pronounce that. And pistols, it's basically your opinion. Not Knives, I would say don't buy any, but it's like, it's basically yours' choice on that. But yeah, let's get into some games now, because I really don't want to be talking a lot more. Alright, so after this video goes up, I'm probably going to record a random game. Just because I've been grinding a little bit on this game. So I could try to, like... Well, I mean, I've upgraded... What did I upgrade? I don't even remember. <laughs> I'm that bad at remembering. Let's see. Oh, I forgot to read my quest. So, as you guys can see, Sting it's really used a lot still, even in higher ups. Like, I'm level 20, people still use the Sting. So, yeah. This is. I don't even know that sniper. But you see, even this guy's using the Sting. A lot of people still use Sting and Vampire. Because basically, that's pretty much what you're going to see in the higher up level. So basically, it doesn't matter if you get yourself, like, better weapons. As long as you have an upgraded weapon that's pretty much maxed. Because if you have the Death Dealer max, you can two-shot anyone around level 20. Like me. Because my armor is only level 4 and I'm level 20. So you can basically two-shot me if you have a level 5 Death Dealer. And what I've seen is the best way to win 
games is just to try not to rely too much on your team and just try to stay by yourself and not get stuck like in tight edges because people shock use shotguns a lot and you guys can see there that guy was using the buffalo and he's using the sting of course but yeah that's one thing i like about the game that the weapons that cost gold and that you have to waste money on unless you're gonna like grind forever aren't too overpowered and you don't see them used too much because death dealer it's really op sh shotgun and even the the shotguns that cost gold aren't as good as it i would say because i haven't seen anyone use like the higher up shotguns besides the remedy I believe it's what it's called, the regenerate, the regenerative shotgun. And I get a kill. Okay. But as you can tell, I just lost to someone with the buffalo. It's probably because I said, probably. So let, let me know down below in the comments if you guys want like any type of video you guys want me to make on Guns of Boom like a challenge video such as only using the what's it called the first tier weapons for each class such as the what's it called the legend for the assault rifle and then the blunderbuss for the shotgun because I mean that that make for like a funny video but I think I'm gonna just try to upgrade the death dealer more often now. Because, I mean, this shotgun, I don't use it much because of the recoil, like, as you can see. And the Death Dealer doesn't have, like, any recoil, so basically, it's a lot better than buying yourself the battering ram. But, I mean, in the long run, sure, if this if this shotgun was upgraded old, maxed out, I could probably get all kills faster than with a Death Dealer. But, as you can see, in the... The log, uh, some guy just got a kill with the death dealer, so people still use older weapons to get good at this game. It's like me personally, I decided to buy higher up weapons, which is something I probably shouldn't do, but I do it just for you guys, so I don't use the weapons that everyone else uses over and over. Because it gets kind of repetitive seeing people using the same weapons. And you guys can see he has the hurricane in and I to him. So basically it really doesn't matter what type of weapons you have. It's just you're going to have to learn how to play well with those weapons if you buy it. And you're going to have to learn how to get used to it and start upgrading a weapon more often. Can we win this? Probably not. Please? Crimson Knight. Ooh, we're close to winning. But also close to losing. Oh, nope, we won. Okay. Woo! Alright, I got I got third place. Alright, I'm, I'm okay with that. What am I... Okay, I can open up a box. Pepper skin, what every person wants. So basically, when a bonus case comes out, I wouldn't recommend using gold on it. I mean, I would recommend if it allows you to watch a video to watch it, just because it doesn't take up much time and you're basically saving up 50 gold. So basically, what I'm doing right now is I'm saving up my gold so I can buy this again. Just so I can upgrade my weapons. I feel like I might use the death dealer. But yeah, I might as well. Just to show off that some weapons that are old that you can still use and get wins. Ooh, I haven't used the death dealer in a long time. I told this match I feel like I'm just gonna use the death dealer. Just just so I can show like the point of the video and why I'm saying that you don't have to have really good weapons to win in games. This feels so nostalgic, using the Death Dealer. What am I? Come on. Okay, I kind of joined in late in this game. But as you guys can see, this has almost no recoil. Like, 
Oh my god, I see his leg. Why did I knife? Okay then. But basically, yeah. I like that this game's balanced enough, so where you don't have to have... Where you don't have to pay for this game, unlike some other games. I died by this... Okay then. That's a really cool skin, the tiger. I wish I had that for my vampire. Or for the death dealer, since I'm... My end of using this a lot more frequently now. You see, it has no recoil, like, at all. I like the battering ram where you shoot and then go all the way up. See, even this guy was using the, the death dealer. Oh my god, they're all over there. You know, just for the sake of not losing this game, I'm going to use the vampire. Even though I died anyways. You see, even this guy's using the buffalo, so. If you guys get my point, it really doesn't matter what weapons you guys have. Stop running. And I don't understand how this thing can hold nine bullets. When you only put in two magazines, or, yeah, two bullets. Oh god. No, I'm gonna die. <sighs> you see, this guy's doing good, and he has a, a salamander. It, wait, isn't that? Oh my god. Okay, I know for sure this guy has a sting. Okay, we lost. Oh well, well. did we get last place? Yeah, of course. Nope, I do not want to double up my rewards. I think I'm going to have this video kind of short. Just because I got to do something after after I'm done recording this video and the next one. So, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next time.